The streets of exotic Hong Kong normally hum to the tune of fossil fuel traffic, but this weekend those streets form a racing circuit for the all-electric racing series Formula E. Formula E could have been created by two kinds of people, either environmentalists or racing people. It was created by me, racing guy. And we go green in Hong Kong! Green in New York City, green in Rome! It's a good start in Marrakech! The first impression they have for motor racing is the noise. There's no noise on electric formula. It's going to be a steep learning curve, but I'm pretty excited. Andrea, are you okay? Dangerous, man. Motorsport has always been an incubator for things that end up in road cars. Disc brakes, seat belts, all kinds of technology was pioneered at the racetrack and has ended up on everybody's road cars. In the first year of Formula E, pretty much all the drivers talk bullshit about Formula E. They realize later that this is the future. You do a good race, you know, you're the king. The next race, you do a mistake. Biggie is in the wall! People start thinking you're not good anymore. When I was young and I finished second, my dad would say, oh, here's our first loser. Oh my goodness! It's very painful when it doesn't go well. I don't care what anyone else does. The only thing that I need to do here is win a championship. But when he hits the grassy... <laughs> what kind of f is this mother f Like I say, I'm not an environmentalist, I'm a racing man, but I do worry about the environment. So if I can put both together, fantastic.